Apfel und Apfelsaft verbinde ich guten Geschmack. With apple and apple juice I associate good taste. I associate landscape, I associate apple blossom in spring, the harvest situation in autumn, that you can harvest what you have been looking forward all year. For me, apple juice is the perfect combination of nature and enjoyment. And most people in Germany see it that way. The Germans drink an average of 8 liters of apple juice per capita plus 9 liters of apple spritzer per year. The cultivation of fruit trees has a long tradition in Germany. Be it professional plantations or traditional meadow orchards, which are nowadays among the most species-rich habitats in Central Europe. Starting already in September, when the apples have developed their full flavor, they are shaken from the trees and harvested in different ways. The work is done very professionally in the meadow orchards, where apples are harvested in amazing ways. Overall, some 600,000 tons of orchard fruits are harvested amongst others for the fruit juice industry. From September to late November, the processing activities in the fruit juice companies are in full swing. 500, 600, sometimes 800 million liters of apple juice are produced there each year in Germany. Between the delivery of the apples at such collection points and the subsequent processing pass at most 24 hours. So to speak, on the waterway, the apples get from the large silos to the cleaning station where leaves and soil are removed. This happens fully automated in modern processing facilities. After cleaning and sorting it comes to grinding. From the apples is now made the so-called mesh. In these powerful presses, the liquid is pressed from the mesh under high pressure. Through the tubes, the apple juice sets out for the next processing step. About 600 million liters of apple juice are bottled in Germany every year. Before processing of the juice continues, samples have to be taken and the quality is documented. This is done in the laboratory, where also the composition of the substances they contain is examined. Apple juice not only tastes good, it also provides many valuable nutrients. And, by the way, this has nothing to do with the color or consistency. Whether cloudy or clear, the positive properties of the apple are largely preserved by the gentle processing. Each apple juice was initially cloudy. By a sophisticated filtration process, the naturally cloudy, pulp-containing juice turns into a clear apple juice with its typical golden-yellow color. In the production process, especially the clear apple juice often takes a detour via apple juice concentrate. The freshly squeezed juice is concentrated by evaporating its water content. The flavors are captured and stored in a space-saving and durable way, just like the concentrate in its dark yellow, vicious form. Whether the apple juice is extracted directly or made from concentrate, now the journey into the bottle begins and this is a hot business at the beginning. During the so-called pasteurization, the juice is shortly heated to 85 degrees Celsius. This prevents the juice from fermentation, but saves valuable nutrients and its flavor. The apple juice now is transferred fully automated into the containers. Just as important as the short-term heating is the subsequent cooling in the cooling tunnel. The last production step is the labeling and palletizing. For me, the apple is a positive example of how to combine nature and enjoyment.